making the Coachella Valley a better place to live. This is KMIR 6 News at 5. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Gene Olamont. And I'm Elizabeth Bobian. A fire this morning in Desert Hot Springs claimed a vacant home and damaged an apartment building. The fire happened on 2nd Street and was reported just before 8 this morning. Firefighters battled it for less than 30 minutes before having the fire contained. A flare up hit a nearby apartment building, but firefighters stopped it before uh, the flames took hold of that other building. Total losses are estimated at about $10,000. And firefighters are warning people to be careful warming their homes this winter after a rash of fires across the valley. KMIR 6's Angela Rowe joins us live in studio tonight with life-saving advice. Angela. Well, Gino, in just the past two weeks, there have been at least eight significant fires at homes across our desert. Those blazes have left many families without shelter right in the middle of the holiday season. When the temperature drops, the chance of a fire in your home goes up. I think across the board, generally in the cooler, cooler months, fires do increase. And the cooler temps this winter aren't helping. People have a tendency to uh, utilize uh, more heating appliances, uh, central heating and so forth. Cathedral City Fire told us some of the main causes of home fires in the winter. Space heaters that are improperly used inside the home, candles that are used frequently and they're not put on solid tables or surfaces and they get knocked over by either children or pets. So candles are responsible uh, as well as space heaters for fires this time of year. Cal Fire showed us how to correctly use a space heater. Plug directly into a wall outlet, not using an uh, excess array of uh, extension cords. And be careful not to overload your outlets, even if they are this circuit breaker type. Even though there's uh, uh, quite a few taps here, it is uh, designed to handle no more than 15 amps of electricity, which uh, will uh, uh, overload it. Don't use any open flame to heat your home. Chimneys should be inspected once a year and cleaned as needed. Furnaces should also be checked at the start of the cold months. And firefighters say it's crucial to check the batteries in your smoke and carbon monoxide detectors every six months. You want to make sure that you have at least a carbon monoxide uh, detector in the areas where you sleep. And then make sure that all your, uh, your gas burning appliances are burning cleanly and they're maintained. So firefighters say a little preparation for the cold can go a long way in keeping you and your family safe from fire. Our local Red Cross chapter told me they've responded to about 25% more house fires than in previous years, and that is taxing their resources. Back to you, Elizabeth.